This video is about imaging of acute respiratory distress syndrome. Chest radiograph findings of acute respiratory distress syndrome vary widely, depending on the stage of the disease. The most common chest radiograph findings are bilateral, predominantly peripheral, somewhat asymmetrical consolidation with air bronchograms. Septal lines and pleural effusions, however, are uncommon. Differential diagnosis considerations include pneumonias, such as those due to aspiration, diffuse alveolar hemorrhage, and pulmonary edema of any cause. This is a portable chest radiograph in a patient with acute respiratory distress syndrome. The condition evolved over approximately one week. This is a case of acute respiratory distress syndrome secondary to tiger snake bite. There is diffuse, hazy, and coalescent airspace opacification bilaterally, with a predominance in the lower and mid zones. The diffuse and often nonspecific consolidation that is depicted on chest radiographs in patients with ARDS is, in fact, heterogeneous on CT scans. Also, CT scans show that the parenchymal consolidation is in the gravity-dependent areas of the lung. Therefore, the disease is not as diffuse as the chest radiograph findings alone suggest. CT of a patient with ARDS shows bilateral dense-dependent consolidation, with areas of ground glass opacification and normal lung in the non-dependent lung. Pulmonary cysts of varying sizes and bullae are also features of the later stages of ARDS and probably develop as a result of prolonged ventilation. However, pulmonary cysts are also known to arise secondary to pneumonia and do not necessarily have to be associated with an episode of prolonged ventilation. In first image, CT shows bilateral dependent consolidation in a patient with ARDS as well as ground glass opacities in the non-dependent lung. In second image, follow-up CT after one year shows resolution of the consolidation and ground glass opacification with cyst formation in the anterior left lung.